Yo, what's up guys? This is Coding with Gold Tom and guys today we're gonna do the level really big fire so without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so now that I code combat introduced a new arena, play iron and ice. Very fun arena. Yeah. So defend your mind with the helps of mines and griffins. Arrayland, excellent properties. Return statements, strings, variables, and while loops. So let's play. So just get the best armor you can for this level. You need the best armor you can if you want the bonus. You need the best armor you can if you need the bonus. Just saying that earlier. If you don't care about the bonus, just equip some normal gear. And yeah. So now let's begin so our goal here is to survive for 30 seconds and protect the minefield for 30 seconds our bonus is to survive for 60 seconds so that's a minute so the ogres are advancing command the flying griffin riders to fly over the mines and defend the hero use a series of functions to break apart each of the process into easier to understand pieces well, this is my strategy, it's just I put it all into one function because too many functions just confuses me about which function. And I'm not saying that the, my strategy is the only one, please go out and try your code. If you actually don't understand the level, don't know what to do, I post these videos for that. And we got the bonus too. So I just got the best armor I can so that I could survive. I barely survived at one minute. So. You want to get the bonus. Don't worry about it now. Finish Kelvin. After you reach Kelvin Tap or Summit's, Summit's Gates, just do. Just get... You You anyway need the best gear for that, so get the best gear. And if you if you do some levers in Kelvin Tap, you get so much um, um, gems for that. And you can buy the best armor. And once you have very good armor, you can just come back and revisit the level. So, yeah. So let's look at the code. So function choose strategy. So we have our enemies. Always, always, always define enemies. If you summon a Griffin Rider, return Griffin Rider. Well, I just summon the Griffin Rider here. So if the hero got gold, if he have enough gold, if he have if he have more than if you have more than or enough gold to summon a griffin rider, we summon a griffin rider. And friends, here dot find friends. For friend in friends. Enemy equals friend dot find nearest enemy. If there's an enemy, you command griffin rider to attack enemy. And you might be thinking, wait a minute, you should attack the griffin riders. But in my past submissions, I have noticed that since I typed the griffin riders to annoy the fang riders, they annoy them. And in return, the Fang Riders start killing them. And when the Fang Riders stock up like six Griff six Fang Riders at once, it just it just dies. So it will easily overpower my Griffin Riders. So that's why if they are threaded by the Fang Riders, they attack. Or if they just go for the hero, I ask them to leave them. So that's it. And that's just that. And if there's a fang raider on your side of the mines, fight back. So if the enemy, and the enemy equals fang rider, and the distance here is very, very, very important. This part is important. Because if you see a fang rider at the edge, you can't just go running to it and just blow yourself up. You need to wait until it's in the distance range of the mine, and you can attack it. Else, if you if it's far and X and everyone's going good, you go to the nearest item, item, you get the items. This may look short. I don't know what. I do not know what happened. Okay. Let me just get this thing out. Chrome's not responding. Okay. So now we're back. And then after that, we got the code. We're done. We got two stars. If you have special powers, you can use the invis ring. You can cast invisibility on hero if the enemies are too close. So you can like dodge. And you can just do that by going at the top and say that if hero 
dot can cast if hero dot can cast invis in this ability hero and enemy we don't want to just waste it if there's no enemy and excellent way to find enemy and hero dot cast invisibility and yeah and that's it uh, hero casted invis you can know by seeing the eyeball above the hero and next then i go check down the hero the griffin riders are going to take care of it for some time it just keeps collecting items for some reason class invisibility gives them some time and yes we live you can see the difference last time i barely survived this time i survived with two-thirds of my health left so spells do make a very big difference so yep this is it guys reaping fire with bonus thank you guys for watching don't forget to share and subscribe this is going to and i'll see you next time have a great day and enjoy your winter break merry christmas and a happy new year